back people to another episode of Neil's Next Door. Um, as you guys know, we've been getting stuff done on the telly ride recently, windows tinted, um, just coming out to um, Lace by J5 in Stockbridge, Georgia to set up my appointment to get the roof wrapped in black. I know you guys wanted me to get, well, I was thinking about getting painted, but a lot of you guys recommended getting a wrap, so we're going to get a wrap now, um, well, in a couple weeks. And we'll see how that goes, but let's go from there. Uh, sorry for the shadow on my face, but it's official. The day's finally here. The Kia Telluride is going to get its roof finally wrapped. It's been a long time coming. I'm about two months behind because the first time we were supposed to get it done, the kids transitioned back to school from being homeschooled, um, remote learning, I guess is the best way to put it. And then there was just a lot going on. Then we had to push it back and it was about a month wait. He called me, it was supposed to be actually done on Sat this coming Saturday on the 20, what's that, the 28th? But they called me last week, said they got appointments early for this week and we were supposed to be out of town, but we ended up not going. So that worked out great for us. So this, ideally, will be the last time you see it with a white roof. Let's get a better look. Yep, ideally, it's gonna have all black gloss up top there, make it look like a panoramic roof looking type deal. Now, if you guys are in the market for a, uh, a kid tell you ride, and you've had other kids in the past with panoramic sunroofs, they do offer the panoramic sunroof on the telly ride. The only difference is the difference between this and other Kia models or other cars with panoramic sunroofs. It's kind of like a split thing, whereas it kind of have like a second sunroof area over here. And this is not black. Like um, on all our other cars, it was black all the way to the front. I guess because it was just going to be too much glass. I don't know. So, you know, ideally, we'll wrap the whole thing. Actually, I believe that's his wife's car. They wrapped the Infinity. I think that's a Q60. I don't know what it is. It's, that, it's a two door one. Maybe 70? I don't know. I know it's not a Q50. But, um, yeah, so we're, yeah, it actually came out pretty good. It's like a copper, it's like a pearl pink color. Looks pretty cool. But this is gonna be it. And ideally, we'll see how it works out. It's official. The car has been dropped off. It's back there in the shop. Uh, when we come back in about three hours, I'll have a brand new wrapped roof. Everything will be fantastical. Um, um, thank you guys for recommending the wrap because I was on the fence on painting or recommending. I'm on a Kia form. A lady said she spent $900 to get hers painted. And I was like, eh, eh. Then especially if I was unsure how it was going to really look because her pictures wasn't really clear. So you know what, let me wrap it. If I don't like it, it's not too bad. I was gonna actually wrap it myself. But once I realized I'll have to take off the roof rack in order to get it done, that was a no for me, dog. So I'm let them take it, take care of it. If they mess up and break something, it's on them, not me. So it all works out in the end. Um, Sherelle's about to pick me up now. She's about, about 35 minutes away. And we're gonna go buy some furniture. And that's it. So see you guys in a little while. I just, I'm about to come pick up the car now. I got here, they're, they went on lunch. So I, it's about a 30 minute ride from my house here. But because of the time, the holiday season, traffic was crazy. So it took me about, I, I figured it was gonna take about 45 minutes to an hour to get here. So I came early. Um, they, I let them go, I told them just go on lunch, do your thing because I didn't want them to wait for me too long. His wife is pregnant, let her go eat, let her handle that stuff and I'm here now they're on their way back now so I'm here about 10 minutes before they get here which ain't no big deal it is what it is um, I got nowhere else to be I'm gonna head here then I gotta go to a room um, Ashley's furniture to go order a, a bed for both Case and London and everything be a-okay so I can't wait to see what this looks like I'm excited and we'll go from there 
hopefully it's not too windy but i figured while away i'll answer some of the questions that you guys might have had um that's been posting up on instagram and some of my videos number one fuel economy i complained about it originally to be honest with you it's not too bad you know we average about 22 to 24 miles per gallon we could probably average more if we used eco mode but we rarely use it very often and we also drive with a little bit of gusto because you know the, the telluride actually does a really good job picking up speed and sometimes you get your you get carried away a little bit because it doesn't have that raw power that you will hear from like a dodge durango or anything like that so you kind of don't realize you're taking off but you really are um so it's a lot of power from their v6 engine which i was actually surprised about especially with the size of the vehicle so i can't really complain about that msrp now a lot of people ask me if there's any type of negotiating room possibly to be honest with you probably not because you're talking about a lot of these vehicles are actually selling before they get off the lot and we just got lucky a lot of you guys that watch are telling me you guys have a six month wait one of you one of you actually said that you waited then they forgot the tow package and instead of letting the dealer just add it because he won't have the air suspension stuff like that you're waiting another what i think two months he said before he actually gets it again um so i, I would let you know this you're probably going to be paying at or above msrp now knowing that would i buy it again yes even without the uh memory seats um uh, without the home link mirror which i put in there anywhere myself i would still think it's a really great value you're getting a lot of vehicle for that money there's a there's a big roomy truck um it looks really nice everyone loves it man i i can't stress enough how many people love this car and not being able to see a bunch of them on the road really means a lot to me um but overall you get um heated and cooled seats you have a heated steering wheel now yes i would probably opt to a sx if it was a choice again or if i had to buy it again i would get an sx instead and spend a little extra money i really didn't want to spend the sx money but that was just because going into it i didn't realize that number one some of those things were going to be missing number two i didn't realize at that point we're going to be pretty much um making closer to s we actually uh we actually end up paying more than what an sx would have cost us if we would have bought like an sx last year with a 2020 model obviously it would have been a little different the nightfall package does get a little pricey so if you don't really need the black badging don't worry about it just don't worry about the nightfall package just get a regular sx version and spend your money that way unless you really love the nightfall package which i really do so i would do the nightfall package again um I would say you could save your money and not have to really too much worry about um, getting that package. I would just upgrade if you think about an EX, stepping into an SX. Now I know everybody's budget is a little different. LX is an option, that's the entry level model. I probably will skip that and go straight to an S if you're looking at something. Um, I'll just skip the LX. I don't think the feature wise cost of value. At that point, you unless you just really need the space and you like the look, you probably could get a fully loaded Kia Sorento or something like that at that point. Um, so I would definitely say the markup wouldn't be worth it on an LX. But if you're going to get an S and above, that's perfectly fine. Now I'll say this. It is a very good cruiser. We never really realized how rough of a ride the Sorento and Optima are. The Optima I understand because we have the SX model, which it has the sports tune suspension and all that stuff. Well, at least factory sports tune suspension. It's not aftermarket but you could feel every bump on the road but that's what that car was designed to do make you feel like you're actually driving the car the sorrento we had uh i didn't realize how much imperfections in the road you could actually really feel but with the telluride it takes care of all that man it's a nice smooth ride sometimes you feel like you're floating i know some of you guys don't like that feeling but to be honest with you if you're getting an suv you don't want to feel the road you want to have that nice high commanding view you want to be able to coast around easy effortless driving i don't feel i don't want to feel like i'm driving a tank you know what i'm saying if you want more of a better driving dynamics there's better options like a durango like i said um so i would definitely consider it if you are looking for a daily cruiser gas mileage like i said you could you could probably get something that has a better gas mileage on it but it is a very large vehicle man and uh, you gotta trade off something and the best part about it is just regular ordinary 
regular gas not premium just regular gas so filling up is not too bad it's only a 18 gallon fuel tank so on average spending about what almost 40 bucks give or take um, to fill it up which is not bad you know it all depends on where you live obviously if gas is ridiculously high but down here in Georgia it's not a killer um, sometimes you got to pay to play for certain things I would definitely opt for the tow package if you can that having that air suspension in the back I really enjoy because when I go to Home Depot I get to see how much the trunk actually dips down when you load it up but knowing that when you start to drive it starts to level out on its own fantastic man when I get back home everything's a-okay can't complain about it but what I'll do now is this I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to leave a couple um, I'll let you guys leave me some more comments you want me to answer and we're gonna go check out the car now and see what it's all about alright have a good one people and that is done that looks fantastic don't it a lot better a lot better. That white roof had to go, man. That white roof was terrible. Yeah, you said you were used to having a black roof. Yeah, yeah. man, have, not having a black roof was rough. Look at that. Perfection. Can't get better than that, people. Oh, and you did the little lip. Yeah, little. Beautiful. I appreciate it. people so this is what it looks like 2021 Kia Telluride EX Nightfall Edition Snow White Pearl with the black roof wrap what you guys think gloss black roof wrap looks fantastic to me um, it looks just like if it was came standard obviously you have the um, the lumps for aerodynamics from the regular roof but that's all right nobody's worried too much about that he did the shark fin. He also went and did this little lip here, which I really enjoy. I thought it was going to look kind of weird if it just stopped there, but he did that for me also, which was pretty cool. Um, I think he did an excellent job. What do you guys think? That's it right there. Look at that glisten, the, the skylight, the clouds, and the sunset glisten, man. It's fantastic. Um, yeah. We're, we're, we're in business now. So if you guys were wondering what it will look like with a black roof, this exactly will look like. It just gives it more of that panoramic sunroof look, the full panoramic sunroof. Like I said, even the panoramic sunroofs don't have the full black like other Optimas and Sorrentos might have had in the past. Um, so I'll actually let you guys see what the what the um, the Optima looks like. See if you guys check out the Optima. See the Optima already. This the Optima has a panoramic sunroof. So it's all black all up there. It's fantastic. I don't know what else to do this. I don't think there's anything else for me to do. I got the windows tinted. I got the roof wrapped. Oh, um, in January, after the holidays, I'm going to get the perfect per, um, protective um, film for the front of the bumper. You could get it. It's going to be cheaper if I just stop it like right here. But I don't want to see that line. So in order to not see the line, I'm getting this whole quarter panel wrapped. It's going to get wrapped this whole hood. So I'm going to get the exact the actual hood wrapped itself in that clear protective um, film. It's self-healing. So as it gets nicks and stuff from the highway, it'll pretty much just fix itself once the sun hits it. They will have to pull off the Telluride stuff and put them back on which I'm not too sure about because as good as the job he did you know this that kind of scares me a little bit but if I do the quarter wrap he'll just kind of cut out the holes around it which I think I might still make him do but I don't know yet uh, what do you guys think fantastic right look at that I tried to show you guys when I was at the shop but the sun was pretty bad but here we go yeah, there we go.